Luca, what does it mean for you, for you guys to be able to pull out a, a win like this, obviously in, in the kind of game that you struggled to be able to, uh, to win last season? Uh, it's great. Uh, like I said, those past two seasons, you know, we're going to learn from these things. Uh, I think especially me, I got to lead, the, lead uh, the team on, in these moments. I got to be a leader on, on those moments. And I think today we did great, you know. A lot of people hit those flood shots, and we, we did great. All right, Brad? Yeah, uh, one of those players you, I guess you're talking about is Maxi, and he'd gone two, really two full games and put up very few shots. What gave you the confidence in him that he was going to make those shots uh, down the stretch after really very little offense before that? I mean, he's a great shooter. He's a great player. Uh, obviously, sometimes you don't see it in stats, you know, but he does a lot, a lot of stuff for us uh, that nobody, I mean, few people see that. Uh, our whole team sees that, you know, it's not only about stats, uh, but, you know, he's great. Everybody trusts him. Everybody trusts our teammates, every teammate. So I think it was a great shot. Even if he would have missed it, it was a great shot. I'll do it any day. Kevin Gray? Hey, Luke, in addition, obviously, to your 38 points, 13 assists, and nine rebounds, you also have four steals tonight. How do you feel about how your defense is continuing to grow, especially getting in the passing lanes and getting those four steals tonight? Yeah, I think my my defense is growing day by day. I mean, game by game. Uh, you know, I'm just trying uh, harder, uh, not letting nobody attack me, you know, trying my best. And I think it's going to grow every day. Kyle? Hey, Luca, Faku Kampaza. Composo didn't see the floor tonight, but his former teammates, I'm wondering if you had any advice for him as he starts his NBA career. And did you know back then at Real Madrid that he was a guy destined to, to play in the NBA? I mean, uh, he knows everything, you know, uh, no advice. Uh, I'm like six, seven, seven, six years younger than him. But, you know, uh, I'll tell you, once he get a chance, you know, once he start playing, he's going to be a real problem in this league. And uh, I know this is going to happen. All right, we're going to do one more in English, and then we'll switch to Spanish. Joe Garden. Hey, Luca. Uh, it's nice to see you. I, I just, um, you know, you and, and uh, Nicola were just going back and forth, obviously, there in the fourth quarter and over time. And I'm just wondering if you enjoy that and, and feel it more, like when you're locked into what seems like a back and forth with, with him specifically. I mean, I want to say especially, you know, down the stretch, uh, I'm just trying to win a game. Uh, you know, he's an amazing player. You, you saw that last shot. Uh, something something told me it was going to go in, but, you know, uh, he's a great player. Uh, but down the stretch, I just want to I just want to go and win the game, and that's what we did tonight. And I will switch to Spanish. Pedro? Thanks, Rene. Hey, Luca, buenas noches. Tim McMahon te hizo esta pregunta en inglés, pero te la hago en español. Eh, ha habido instancias en las cuales en partidos cerrados como este no han podido conseguir la victoria. ¿Cómo te sientes de poder conseguir un triunfo considerando la selección de tiros y de pases que hiciste eh, esta noche ante Denver? Eh, creo que mucho mejor. Eh, como he dicho antes, que en las dos últimas temporadas, pues cada día vamos a mejorar. La verdad que no hemos sido buenos en estos momentos, pero creo que Eh, vamos creciendo, todavía no estamos ahí, ahí. Eh, falta mucho, pero creo que estamos yendo a ese punto. Ah, Hola, Luca. Bueno, felicidades por la victoria. Te quería preguntar principalmente por ese primer tiempo. Te mostraste un poco frustrado en el cierre de la primera mitad. Cuatro pérdidas, uno de cinco en triples. Y, y de repente tienes esta reacción en el segundo tiempo. Primero por ese lado. Y segundo, el reencuentro con Facu. Vimos un video en el que te mostraste muy emocional en ese reencuentro tan especial. ¿Qué tienes para decir al respecto? Gracias. Eh, sí, bueno, la primera. Eh, estaba frustrado porque eh, tomé los últimos tiros muy, tiros muy mal. Eh, no, no encontré a mis compañeros. No debería eh, tirar esos tiros. Y bueno, la verdad que las pérdidas han sido un problema mío que tengo que mejorar. Y bueno, siempre es eh, muy bonito ver a Facu, ¿no? Eh, como he dicho antes, eh, cuando va a tener la oportunidad uh, de demostrar quién es, eh, creo que lo va a hacer muy, muy bien en esta liga y seguro que pasará eso. Uh, David. Hola, Luca, para la Agencia de Fe de España. 
eh, después del triple de Maxi parece que tenéis el partido ya agarrado al final de esa canasta de Jokic os lleva a la prórroga. ¿Qué crees ha sido la clave de, del equipo para aguantar en esta time y poder llevaros la victoria? Eh, estar juntos eh, y defender. Eso, eso es lo que nos dio la victoria en la prórroga. Eh, bueno, eso. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.